Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexia and in this video I'm going to do a review of the top four yoga mats on the market. So we've got the Jade, the Manduka, the Lululemon and the Lifeform yoga mat. So in order to prepare for this video, I went and did a lot of research and what I did is I looked at the 15 top criteria that people seem to be looking for when deciding on which yoga mat to choose. So the first thing is the cushioning. Many people are interested in the cushioning, especially if we have any joint issues, any joint pains, or if we do grounded practices like yin yoga and we've got our knees or our hips on the floor. So the thickest of all these yoga mats is the Manduka yoga mat. Now the Manduka yoga mat is six millimeters thick. This is the Manduka Pro. So this is six millimeters thick and it's the thickest yoga mat of all of them. And this means it's an excellent choice if you want that extra cushioning. The next ones are the Jade and the Lululemon. So the Jade and the Lululemon are five millimeters thick. And this means that they might be that much slightly thinner. However, because both of these are made of rubber, so the Jade Yoga Mat is made of, all of it is rubber, and then the Lululemon, its base is rubber. This means that you feel that it is very, you feel that it has a lot of cushioning. Now next, we've got the Life Form. So the Life Form is actually the thin yoga mat of them all. This also has a rubber base. However, the life form is 4.2 millimeters thick, so slightly thinner. So maybe not the best if you're looking for that extra cushioning. However, you could always put something underneath it if you want to do more grounded practices. All right, now we're going to look at the weight. So the weight is something that is worth considering, especially if you are wanting to do some traveling with your yoga mats. For example, if you want to go on yoga retreats, or if this is a yoga mat that you want to take to your yoga studio and bring it back home with you. So the heaviest yoga mat of them all is the Manduka. And this is quite heavy at 3.4 kilos. And this means that the Manduka might not be the best yoga mat if you're intending in traveling, or if you want to take it back and forth to wherever you're going to practice. This is a good solid piece if you want to have it in one place. Like if you, for example, you can leave it in your yoga studio or if you practice at home, this is an excellent yoga mat for that. All right, so the next heavy yoga mat is the life form yoga mat, which is 2.5 kilos. And then we've got the Jade and then we've got the Lululemon yoga mat. So the Lululemon is actually the lightest of them all. So if you are considering, if you want a yoga mat that you can travel with, then maybe go for the Lululemon and maybe even the Jade. Okay, the Life Form also, it's just that, that it's that much heavier. So the lightest of them all is the Lululemon. So that would probably be your best option if you want to travel with your yoga mat. Okay, the next thing is the price. Now, this is a really big criteria. This is probably one of the first things that everyone looks at when <laughs> choosing their yoga mat. So, it's no surprise that the most expensive yoga mat is this one here, the prettiest of them all. So the most expensive yoga mat is this life form yoga mat, which is actually a special edition. So this is the white gold yoga mat. This came in at $180. So it's the most expensive yoga mat I have ever bought. And so the next most expensive yoga mat is the Manduka. Now the Manduka Pro, and this is $120. Next, we have the Lululemon yoga mat, which was $88. And the cheapest of them all is actually the Jade yoga mat, which was around $80. So this is something to keep in mind, depending on your budget, depending on how much you want to spend for your yoga mat. So another thing that people look at when buying a yoga mat is the grip, so the traction. It's my opinion, having tested all of these yoga mats, that they're all actually excellent in that. Each in their own different way because each are made of different materials. So I think it really will come down to your personal preference of how you want your yoga mat to feel. So for example, I practice Ashtanga yoga. I practice a dynamic form of yoga. And so when I'm in my downward facing dog, I don't want to have to be sliding all over the place. So each of these yoga mats is excellent for that. The Jade has its own type of surface and because it's rubber, it, in a way you feel like you have a bit more flexibility with your hands. You're, it's not like you're gonna go anywhere, but just the feeling is that it's really holding you in that position. And it's the same with the other ones. So the Life Arm and the Lululemon, these have the most, 
I'll say shiny like silky tops. However, they have exceptional grip. And then the Manduka, this is like a staple yoga mat practiced. Well, so many yoga teachers around the world practice on this. This also has an excellent grip, but just slightly different texture. Maybe the texture would be some, not similar to the jade, but it's definitely much different from the Lululemon and the Lifeform yoga mat. All right, the next factor we're going to look at is how pretty the yoga mat is. Now, this might be something that some of you are interested in, so let's have a look at it. As you can see from this video, the prettiest of them all is the Lifeform yoga mat. Now, I was quite surprised when I opened this one up. I'd never seen a white yoga mat, and I'd never seen a white yoga mat with a gold, this beautiful gold pattern on it. So this one, you know, it really is the prettiest one and it really, really does stand out. And it's no surprise why I've seen so many videos or so many pictures on Instagram using this yoga mat. Next, you could say the Lululemon, because it comes, like, as you can see, it has like a different, a little pattern on it and it comes in different colors with different colored patterns. You know, this one also has a little bit of a design. The Manduka, for me at least, okay, I have the Pro, which is black. You could say the Manduka is the most serious yoga mat. I know it offers also some variety of some colors and some patterns. However, the most common one is this black Pro. So you could say that this is the most serious looking of them all of these yoga mats. And last, we've got the Jade. Now the Jade also comes in some lovely colors. And so the Jade can also be considered a quite good looking yoga mat. Next, another factor to consider is how many colors these yoga mats come in. So the mat that comes in the most colors, the most options available is the life form yoga mat. And this actually comes in some really quite unique and interesting patterns. This one being, I think, the most unique one. So life form comes in 21 different colors. The Manduka then, this one comes in 15 different colors, the Jade in 14, and, and the Lululemon comes in the least different colors. So this one comes in only six different colors. Now, something that most people with a yoga mat think about is how to actually clean it. If you're looking into how to clean your yoga mat, then check the video above. However, one thing that you might want to consider is whether the manufacturer of your yoga mat offers a specific spray or specific cleaner for your yoga mat. Of course, all of them can be cleaned in a DIY way as is explained in the video that I linked to previously. However, if you want to clean your yoga mat with a particular spray by the manufacturer of your mat, then the two options you have are Manduka and Jade. Manduka and Jade offer particular cleaners that can be used or that should be used with these specific yoga mats. And so if this is something that you're considering, then these two have their own type of cleaning spray. Next, another thing to consider is, does your mat come with anything extra? So here's the thing, I bought my Manduka about 10 years ago and this one didn't actually, if I remember at least, this didn't come with anything extra. I might be wrong, but I don't remember it coming with anything. And also the Jade, this one doesn't come with anything. However, the Little Lemon and the Life Form, they come with something. And give me one moment. All right, so here's something that's cute. So the Lululemon came with this tote bag, which I guess you can use also to put your mat in. And then the life form came with its own yoga carrier. So it came with its own bag. And so these are things to consider if you're looking for a yoga mat, if you want to know if it comes with anything extra. So the life form may be the most expensive yoga mat. However, keep in mind that it comes with its own bag. Now, let's have a look at what I consider the star qualities. What makes each of these really stand out? The first thing is the jade. The jade stands out because it is the most eco-friendly yoga mat. And apparently they plant a tree for every yoga mat that they sell. The Manduka yoga mat has a lifetime guarantee. This means that this is your mat for life. You will buy one mat and that's it. You don't have to buy another yoga mat. And it's the only company that I know of that offers this kind of deal. So if your yoga mat gets some wear and tear, then they will give you another one. They will replace your yoga mat. And I think that's quite an incredible deal to offer. 
Lululemon. Now, the Lululemon, its star quality, for me at least, is that the top layer has an antimicrobial surface and this means that it prevents mold and mildew something that's very important to consider especially if you sweat a lot or if you practice in a humid environment and with the life form yoga mat for me at least i think its star quality is the alignment system that it offers and as far as i know it's the first yoga mat that offers this type of alignment design and so this can be very good for beginners to yoga who want to know where to place their hands and where to place their feet in certain postures. And it was quite interesting because I was used to always practicing with my Manduka yoga mat. So when I got to practice with this one, it was interesting that I was noticing where to place my hands, where to place my feet. So even for advanced practitioners, this can also be an, a very interesting tool to have. So now let's have a look at some of the negative aspects of these yoga mats. There is no perfect yoga mat. So each of these has maybe its own drawbacks. So let's see with the first one, with the Jade yoga mat. The Jade yoga mat is more susceptible to wear and tear. So I've had this yoga mat for about five years. And as you will notice, it has some signs of some tough love, mainly from jumping bad, maybe even from having a dynamic practice. So this is something to keep in mind with the Jade yoga mat. And also, if you're allergic to latex, then you can't buy this yoga mat, it's not for you. Now, let's have a look at the Manduka. So the key negative quality of the Manduka yoga mat is that it is quite heavy. So at 3.4 kilos, it's quite a heavy yoga mat. So don't, you won't be able to really use it for traveling around. And the second negative quality of the Manduka yoga mat is that you will need to break it in at first. This means that when you first buy your Manduka yoga mat, you take it out of the box or whatever packaging it comes in, it'll be very difficult to practice straight away with it because you're going to be sliding all over the place. You need to break it in. If you want to see how to break this yoga mat in, then check the video above. Beyond that, of course, it's a great mat. However, you do have to go through that initial step of preparing it. All right, now moving on to the Lululemon yoga mat. The negative quality of this one is that it smells a lot at first. And okay, you can air it, you know, you can get over that. However, according to some reviews that I was looking into when doing this review video, I've only had this yoga mat for one month and apparently some people who have had it for a lot longer than me, they said that it loses this initial like new quality quite fast. And now let's look at the Lifeform yoga mat. So the biggest drawback of this is its price. It is the most expensive yoga mat that I've ever bought. So of course it does come with a bag mm, that, that helps a bit. However, the fact that it's so expensive, that might be a big negative to a lot of people. And so another factor is, and this is for those of you who might have pets at home, or if you practice at home anyway. So I have a cat and here's something interesting, because it's white, and if you don't have a white cat, you're most likely going to see your cat hairs all over your yoga mat. So it's also because it's white. So this is another thing to consider if you're going to go for that yoga mat. Another factor to consider is the overall feel. Now, this is a totally personal preference. However, actually, I would say that all four yoga mats have an incredible overall feel. They are different though. So for example, I would say that the closest together would be the Lifeform and the Lululemon. They both have this more kind of smooth, silky texture with incredible grip. Next, with a bit more rougher surface is the Manduka. And then the roughest of them all, because it's rubber, is the Jade Yoga Mat. And so depending on what your preference is, so I've been practicing on all of these four yoga mats. They're all very different. And I couldn't say which one I actually prefer the most because they're such good quality yoga mats that I think any of them that you buy, you will be extremely happy with. Another factor to consider when looking for a yoga mat is how sustainably made it is, so how eco-friendly it is. Now, the Jade Yoga Mat is the most eco-friendly of them all. And here's what their website says. Eco-friendly Jade Yoga Mats are made sustainably with natural rubber from rubber trees, a renewable resource that contains no PVC, EVA or other synthetic rubber. Next, the Manduka Yoga Mat, according to their website. 
Our Pro Series mats are manufactured using a process that ensures no toxic emissions are released into the atmosphere. Natural rubber base and life forms unique top surface. High grade non-toxic and eco-friendly ink. On the Lululemon website, I actually didn't see any mention of how sustainably made the yoga mats are. Maybe I didn't find this, however, I, this is something I couldn't find on their website. Another thing to consider is the guarantee. So the Manduka offers a lifetime guarantee and I think that's what helps set this yoga mat apart from everything else. Next we have the Jade. Now the Jade yoga mat offers one year guarantee. And next we've got the Lululemon, which according to their website, they will take your yoga mat back if it shows signs of wear and tear. There was no mention of returns with the Lifeform yoga mat. All right, so now let's have a look at which yoga mat to buy. So if you want the prettiest yoga mat, then you've got the Lifeform yoga mat. If you want the all round very good yoga mat at a very good price, then you've got the Lululemon yoga mat. If you want one which you will have for life, okay, it might be a bit more boring compared to the other ones, but this is a mat for life, then this is, the Manduka is a very good yoga mat. And if you want one which has an environmental activism twist to it, then the Jade yoga mat is your choice. I hope you found this review helpful. I put a lot of money and time into doing this review, so I bought each and every yoga mat because I didn't want to offer a biased review. And so if you now know which yoga mat you want to buy, I'd be very grateful if you used one of my links in the description box below, because I get a commission regardless of the yoga mat that you choose to buy. And if you like this video, it would be great if you subscribed and if you like this video, because then you get to see more like it.